Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews, and today I'm going to review on the Lego Disney set 43230, the Walt Disney Tribute Camera. This is an amazing set. I'm obviously, you know, it's commemorating 100 years of Disney. That was in 2023. I am releasing this in 2024, so I am a little late on that. Um, but still, Steamboat Willie really did just go into the public domain, so that would kind of be a, a cool time to review this set since it does come with the Steamboat Willie really minifigures. So I thought that would be cool. Um, without the way, let's jump right into this. I want to start this review off by taking a look at the instructions because there's truly some of the coolest ones I've ever seen in my life. You get more basic ones here, um, and then you kind of just get the normal VIP thing. But when you open it up, it gives you information about like the beginning of Disney there, which is super cool. And you can pause and read that if you'd like, as well as the details about the entire set. But when you get into here, it gives you a timeline of all the Disney movies like that have been made as of, like the exact designing of this set. Um, you can see Steamboat really there in 1928, and you can just keep reading on there if you'd like. Um, you can just see all the amazing movies, and you get to like the 1940s still. It's like Dumbo and Bambi, and there's all these great, great movies as you can see. It's such an awesome timeline. Um, you can just yeah, this is just so awesome. And I just love how it gave a timeline of all the movies up to 2021. So that's very, very cool. Again, that's just some of the coolest instructions I've seen. And you can just kind of continue on from there to get a little bit more about the designers and stuff. But yeah, like I said, I just thought that was so cool how it actually gave you a timeline. Like, that's just such a cool thing to include in the instructions. And so when you're looking at, like, all the different movies on the set itself, you can get, like, this kind of, like, reference. And just look at the years they released and the names of the movies. So that is just so, so cool. The first minifigure we're going to take a look at here is Walt Disney. And he does have a great hair piece. I really like that. The face printing is also very nice there with the mustache. And on the back, he has a little more happy expression. I think that also looks great. On the back, torso printing is very simple, but also gets the job done. On the front, he also has a great torso print with his tie there. I think that looks amazing. Um, he does not have any leg printing, but his accessories are amazing. He has this pin, but he also has this printed tile piece with Mickey Mouse or Steamboat Willie on there. I think that is really cool. And like I said, it's a printed piece. There's actually no stickers in this set at all. So um, that is something to point out, but that is just so cool. It's such an awesome accessory. And overall, I would love to see a minifigure of like, like this, of like Stan Lee or Jack Kirby. And it is very similar to like the, the Kevin Feige minifigure that came in the Avengers Tower. So great minifigure and a great inclusion for a set celebrating 100 years of this. Next up is Steamboat Willie or Mickey Mouse. I think this is another great minifigure. We have gotten this like version of Mickey multiple times. I'm not even 100% sure if it's the exact same one, but it is a nice inclusion here nonetheless. He has the normal Mickey Mouse face there and obviously just a complete black like torso, like literally no printing on there at all. Um, but obviously, you know, it's pretty simplistic like the animation or cartoon. So that does make sense. It does have really nice leg printing though and it's like on dual molded legs as well. You can see those two circles there. And like he also has like side leg printing and everything. So that's very cool. And like I said, Steamboat Willie actually went into public domain um, starting in 2024. So it's kind of a funny minifigure to get here. And yeah, great inclusion again. It's a perfect minifigure to include in this set celebrating 100 years. And to go right alongside Mickey, we have Minnie Mouse here. And this is another really awesome minifigure. The face printing is a little bit different. It's like the same mold, but you can see some eyelashes there. They're kind of like super connected though for some reason. I think that kind of takes me out of it a little bit. But still, I think that face print is very nice. Once again, it's just a complete plain black torso, like no printing on there whatsoever, but again, it kind of gets the job done. She has this really nice skirt piece here that has printing on there, as you can see. There's like a bunch of dots print on there, so that's very nice, and the leg printing is really nice on the sides there, as well as the shoes, and it's also on dual molded legs, which is really cool. And overall, another really great mini mini figure. Um, we have actually seen this version of mini as well. I'm not 100% sure if it was like the same prints, but we've gotten this version at least, but still another great mini figure to include um, in this. And here we have Dumbo, and this is another adorable inclusion in the set. It's like its very own new mold, which I think is just so awesome. You can see his little hat there, as well as the eyes printed on there. There's even like a little hole in the trunk, so you could place like a flower piece in there or something, which is also really cool. You can see like the red collar all around the neck as well. And that's actually dual molded there. You can see the red piece inside. So that's dual molded. The hat is printed though. Um, but he also has his giant ears, which is just so cute as well. I really like that. And overall, I think this is an adorable Dumbo that we probably won't even get in this set other than this. So I really like that. I mean, there's just no denying how cute this little guy is. And here we have the adorable Bambi micro fig. And this is just so, so cute. I mean, that face is just like so adorable. I love all the printing on there as well as the ears and the little spots on the side. There's also an adorable little tail on the other side. You can see a little bit more spots and he just kind of sits on studs like that. So I really do like that. You got the little host and everything. So this is absolutely adorable one too. I think it's so, so cute and another great inclusion. Overall, I think the minifigure selection here is amazing. Obviously Walt Disney is like such a great idea to put in like a set celebrating 100 years of Disney. We also get Mickey and Minnie as well as Bambi and Dumbo. Just so adorable all around. So I think this is an amazing minifigure selection. 
you get this nice little side build included, which is kind of like the director's thing that they hold, and you can see like action cut, which is very, very cool. And you can see like the triangle pieces there that like, kind of make it like look all like really complete when it's all set and done. So I like that a lot, and it just rotates on that clip piece there. All the studs are exposed here because you're supposed to place the minifigures included there. So it is a really nice display piece to put next to the camera. And you can also see those steering wheel pieces, just a bunch of studs exposed, those well a little bit more tiled off pieces there. So that's very nice. On the top, you'll see this rotating piece as well as like this camera. It's kind of shaped like Mickey's ears there, which I think is really clever. And you also see these three pieces here. And like I said, there's actually no stairs in the set at all. Um, so all these are printed and you can see the three different like images there. And when you look at it through this angle, you can see a nice little picture there with like the moon and like the road leading to the house there. So that is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, this is a nice little side build. And when you place the minifigures on there, it looks really complete. Because you don't want to think about it. Like you get these minifigures that should probably be displayed with it. But if you don't really have anything to like, display them on, it is kind of pointless. But you can actually display them. So I do really like that. And this is a nice little side build that definitely fits the theme of the camera. And it is a nice way to display the minifigures. Now taking a look at the camera itself, it is on this like really nice Technic piece where you can like rotate it up and down like an actual tripod and you can see it just kind of like balances in more which is very nice. The legs are also very sturdy, they're not going to fall over unless you like pushed it off so I do like that a lot as well. You can see all this film here which I'm going to take off separately and just give you a better look at that in a minute. But yeah, as you can see the legs are very nicely built, you get these pieces here that can rotate which I think is very nice and that's on all three sides which is also very very cool. Um, moving up a little bit, you can see that it's on this really nice Technic base so again it's definitely not gonna fall over on you. Um, you can see all these different pieces there. It is not very rotatable though. Like the only piece that really moves is this, um, but these legs don't move at all. So it does get a little frustrating. You can't really like adjust it or anything. It just kind of sits in the same spot. So that is a shame, um, but you can rotate this as well. Um, I think that's very cool. Um, the other side does actually open and you get like a little tiny interior, which we're gonna take a look at in a second here. On this side, you get a little bit more detail. On this side, you don't really have that piece because um, this piece here is blocking it. This is how you'd like rotate the camera and stuff. So that's very cool. And it's like this nice brown piece here. So it looks like it's kind of like this wood. So I do like that a lot. Um, but yeah, and then you move to like up here, and you'll see all these different lenses as well as here. There's like a hole in there and you can pull that out and you can, it's kind of like a lens. So I like that a lot. You can see like the lens pieces there. You can just push that in and it just goes up to that. So that is very cool. And you can look inside there and see the camera. So that is this really, really awesome detail. Um, and then you move it to the top here where you'll find the number 100, because obviously you know it's 100 years of Disney, but you also kind of find where like the film kind of rotates. So I do like that a lot. And you can see the one there. And that's very nicely built too. And it's just connected at the top. Then you'll find this piece here. And when you twist that, this is like on this like normal Technic knob, you can pull that open and you'll find Walt Disney in there working on like a sketch of the, um, the accessory came with a steamboat Willie there. You can see a little lamp there as well as the table and a chair he's sitting on. You can also see those Technic pieces back there. And that's basically just to um, rotate and you can see that it makes a little bit of a noise. I think is a super, super satisfying just listening to that. And you just by twisting the little knob on the other side. And you can just listen to that noise. So I like that a lot. I think that's really satisfying. Now taking a look at all the different movies, we're gonna start with from the bottom with the originals and move to the more recent ones. Starting at the bottom, you can see Steamboat Willie there and the instructions that I showed you earlier, it kind of dates the release and everything of this. So that's very nice to kind of like look at all these and then go through them. You can see Snow White there as well as Pinocchio. And some of them do have color, obviously, you know, you can see a bit of red and yellow there. Um, you got Sorcerer, Mickey, Dumbo, Bambi there, little Cinderella, um, I believe that's supposed to be Alice in the Wonderland. I'm not 100% sure where like all these are, but they're pretty iconic, you know, you got the Sword and the Stone, the Jungle Book, Robin Hood, um, you got the Little Mermaid there as well as Beauty and the Beast, the Lion King, which is so cool, I'd love to see some Lion King sets in the future. You also got like Mulan and like the Princess and the Frog. And you get some more recent ones like Frozen and Encanto, so that's very cool. Overall, I think this is an amazing set that references so many incredible Disney movies over the years. Um, I also think it comes with some amazing minifigures to represent the 100 years of Disney, and I feel like it has so many amazing building techniques that any like Lego builder is gonna love. Um, but let me know what you think of this set in the comments down below. I cannot recommend it enough if you're a Disney fan. Um, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. It's a little breakable in some areas, but still, it's a fantastic set. But let me know what you think of this set in the comments down below, and if you plan on doing anything with the public domain of Steamboat, really. But with that out of the way, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and have an incredible day. Bye.